Hello everyone. Hello everyone. My name is Moaz Haji. I am a food processing engineer uh, from the smallest northern country in Africa, Tunisia. So hey Kenan, welcome. Uh, so I'm gonna introduce myself again. So my name is Moaz Haji. I'm a food processing engineer from the smallest country uh, in uh, the smallest northern country in Africa, Tunisia. So I am in a new member and the founder of a Slow Food Youth Network Tunis. Uh, today I'm gonna present to you one of my favorite summer drinks. Before that, I would like to tell you that our uh, Slow Food Youth Network community, Slow Food Youth uh, Sfin Tunis, is the first youth community in Tunisia. So I wanna tell everyone from Tunis who are interested to join the Slow Food Network, don't hesitate to write us a message and we will contact you as soon as possible. If you are a young leader between 18 and 32 and looking to contribute for a good, a clean and fair food system, uh, don't hesitate to join our youth network of change makers and let's shape together a better food system for uh, the future. So today is a slow food youth network drink festival and uh, uh, me as Moaz Haji, a new member and founder of slow food youth network Tunis, I'm going to tell you about Psisa. So Psisa is a typical North African food based on the flour of roasted barley which dates back to uh, Roman times as they found many mosaics and uh, that shows that this food existed before they they talked about it in different pictures they talked about the process and they like fr really from the Roman times but also they said that the history of Psisa goes back to a long way to travelers and nomads what we call here in Africa the Berber the original people of North Africa they used to make uh, to make a psisa and take it with them during their journey since it has both full of uh, nutritional values and also it's e easy to carry in its ground powder form as it is a powder you can put in a, any type of boxes you can carry it it's not that heavy and everything so a psisa is a drink that is uh, prepared with water or milk hey Dafer, what's up uh, so I'm a bit stressing so don't hesitate to be uh, a bit more uh, interactive with me so psisa is a drink that is uh, prepared with uh, water or milk but it also can be a paste that is mixed with olive oil so it depends on the com like the com uh, the ingredients you choose you can make it either a drink but you also you can make it like a paste and eat it with a spoon it's also it's made uh, from many type of cereals like wheat and or uh, barley are the the main one and usually are the the in, like principal ingredients we use for uh, for psisa but also uh, we uh, use some legumes like chickpeas or lentils uh, and also we use some spices spices like marjoram coriander and uh, fennel or uh, what else? An anise, anise. If I'm not mistaken, I'm sure. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it's the same. Anise in French or anise in English, the same. So, and also uh, we sometimes added some nuts like almonds and hazelnuts, and it's really, really delicious. And I wanted also to say that depends on the season, the ingredients of the psisa exist in diff. Like uh, we try always to use the local. Uh, seasonal ingredients uh, and also for example the psisa made out of a wheat flour we use usually as a, in a form of a paste and we use during the winter and the psisa with uh, barley uh, flour we use during the summer uh, so it depends on the uh, on the on the uh, on the season but also we use different ingredients for example the chickpeas are usually the the one that match well with the psisa made out of uh, wheat uh, flour and fennel we use with the 
uh, barley flour so it depends on the ingredients we have different spices depends on the season we have different type of sisa we drink the one the one which is drinkable we we, uh, we make it during the summer the one which is eatable we make it during the winter so we always try to adopt to the weather it's it was that's the goal like uh, the one in the winter it was made more to get warm to feel nice the one in summer is made for to get refreshed and feel also nice but in a different way once is to get warmer because the winter was cold and the other one is uh, fresher because the summer it was hot especially for the travelers and nomads so uh, that's about it uh, so as i said the pizza is made out of roasted uh, barley so uh, there are uh, that we consume during the summer so this powder which i told you about uh, how to explain it more uh, just for a minute, I, I'm kind of using a bit internet because it helps me a little bit. Um, so the, about so this powder, which I told you about, it has a very strong yummy taste. I would like to show it to you to to get what I mean. So here. So this is the powder. As you can see, it ha it's uh, it's a bit thick powder. It have a very nice taste, a smell. It's like a strong yummy smell. And uh, I'm gonna in a bit show you how to, to like. I'm not gonna show you how to make this powder because it's not hard to make it. Much time, like. Uh, in the beginning you have to to get uh, the barley you have uh, to clean it and uh, to do so you have to uh, to pass it through a sieve in order to clean it from all other subjects and then you have to wash the barley you have to dry it under the sun for several hours and then you have to cook it which is like roasted until it has this red color that is a smelly uh, and uh, so and when it's done you just crush this powder uh, you crush this uh, roasted barley until you get this powder which I am showing you right now uh, why I love Epsisa it's actually one of my favorite summer drinks first because it's I used to drink this uh, since my childhood it remembers me of all uh, the summer holidays with my cousins uh, enjoying the beach and everything. It also remembers me of my grandmother because she's the one who uh, showed it to me. She's the one who made it for me the first time. So I can, I, I don't know, uh, but for this drink, it makes me think about her. It makes you smell her. So it's, it has a very special connection to me. And uh, wh I wanted also to say that the Psisa we, is not just a summer drink, but uh, it's also a drink that we uh, we added to it. Like sometimes we eat dates and drink a Psisa, especially during Ramadan, uh, as it has many nutritional value and it's refreshing. It's e it's it's good for people who are fasting to break the fast. On this, it's actually not only good for them. It's our secret. Like some people say, how can you? keep spending the whole day without eating or drinking anything I always say like we have some food which can you can say that is our secret that we can spend the whole day without eating and drinking and Pisa is one of them as it is nutritional it has many uh, it's very refreshing it helps all the Muslims to support the whole day during and stay the whole day without eating and without feeling tired uh, so for me it's the best thing ever and I would recommend you to try it so do you filter it or does the powder stay in the beverage uh, so the powder I'm gonna show you right at the moment how to make it and you will see that there will be no no uh, no powder in the beverage Sometimes it's like you have to mix it very well in order to make sure that all the powder goes away. So I'm going to show you now 
like how to mix it so usually we use a co cold water because it helps you uh, the the colder the water the more refreshing is the the drink the drink so we're gonna add it a bit as we can't hear you can you hear me well if can you comment if you don't hear me or anything is it better now hello can you hear me now okay what does Is it better this way? If I talk this way, it's better? Okay, good. So now I'm gonna show you how to drink, make the Psisa drink. So here I have a spoon. Usually I put water first because if you put uh, the Psisa in the beginning, it will get stuck in the bottom of the glass. So I'm gonna put two spoons. You can put also three. I'm gonna put three. The more you put, the thicker it is. So I've put, let's say, like this, two and a half, and then I'm going to add more water. And as a pizza, it's a little bit, uh, how to say, um, uh, bitter. I would recommend you put some sugar. I put half a spoon of sugar, and then... We're gonna mix it. So I have this special cup that you can mix in it. Uh, one moment, I have to touch it this way. So this is the cup. Yeah. So now we mix it. Now I'm going to show you how it looks like. So it's a little bit of bubbles from the shaking, but you can see it's uh, homogen. There is only one color. Uh, usually there is nothing in the back, but sometimes if there is a little bit of powder that stay, you can add it more water and then you can drink it again. It's for me. What do you want to Um, in Tunisia but also it exists in Algeria it exists in Morocco it have different names usually uh, like here in Tunisia we call it Psisa we call it Hwar in other in Algeria they call it Rowena depends on the the country it has a different name but it's always and also it have different ingredients because each one they try to use the seasonal and the ingredients they have so from one city to another it's really different uh, and I don't know if you have any question I can answer all your questions I try to to be uh, how to say to show you whatever I, I know about it uh, anyone yeah, it's called the Ruina, that's it's correct, like in uh, in Algeria they call it Ruina, but also I think in other cities it have different names, for example, in the coast side it is named Sisa, if you go, and originally it's actually from the southern part of Tunisia, as there was many nomads in the southern part traveling between Libya and Tunisia, so it's uh, it has it has many names depends on the city and depends on the the region and uh, let's say depends on the uh, the people because uh, uh, there used to be many tribes and each tribe has different name uh, give it a different name 
uh, and this is what we say the best uh, drink uh, from North Africa once you make it the drink how many days can you store it in the fridge and have you ever tried to ferment it well uh, for this drink we usually uh, drink it directly because we conserve it it's like the powder is the way of conservation and the powder can stay for a long time it can stay even more than a year and it's also it's always in a good uh, way but and we usually just like for me every morning I make a new one and uh, mix it with water all what I need is cold water and a little bit of sugar and then I can make it like as I can make a small cup like this sometimes I can make I make the whole bottle full with it it depends and we usually uh, we don't ferment it even we take the when they clean it they take away all the the fermented barley i never tried to ferment it and i'm not sure if it can be fermented honestly uh and I, as i said it, you don't have to store it for me of course if for example this one is not that cold i would put it in the fridge to get more uh, more cold but what i do after before consuming it i I shake it again because uh, like uh, the, the 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 flour will go down to the bottom of glass so better of course always to shake it and then you can drink it again and it's very good. Ah, it's getting me I f I was feeling thirsty and now it's like both it's refreshing and for me this is the best substitute f uh, for um summer breakfast because uh, i really feel uh, during i can't drink coffee during summer because it get me um, uh, get me sweating it's super hot that it gets me sweating so this drink it's a substitute for a coffee but also for morning breakfast because with this it has many nutritional values that i don't have to eat things with it i just drink this eat some dates or eat uh, an apple and I'm good for the day I can keep the day in a good uh, with a good energy with a good shape and feeling uh, very very well yeah and uh, what I can say about it as well uh, I would would like once again uh, one day I'm gonna show you how to make paste it's really nice also the paste I love it so much especially with nuts and what we call also in Tunisia it's um, the 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 food that is uh, that helps the students because when once you are a student and you travel away from your family place uh, and you get uh, like you know when you are far away from your family especially as a student in Tunisia sometimes there is those times where you don't have money to buy food so what our parents give us always like a psisa and we say like uh, psisa is the best solution uh, enco to encounter the famine so we don't have to spend the day hungry we just mix it with olive oil and we eat the psisa even if we don't have money to pay for a lunch it's so funny because in every student uh, house you would find this and you will find the student making it and eating it it helps them uh, like uh, to spend the whole day with the full energy it's super nice and i would uh, like recommend you to try it if once you pass to tunisia you should try it if you 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 i can uh, share for you links and if you want to know how to make it i can send you some videos like from the beginning how to make the roasted uh, barley and everything when you heat it in the winter do you just pour boiling water instead of cold no actually i as i said in the winter you don't we don't make the drink but we usually make the paste because uh, the drink is usually made with only cold water it can't be with hot water else i would say it would be a bit disgusting but uh, for me it's like in the winter it's cold refreshing in summer or in uh, winter we make the paste we just the same uh, powder this one like four or five spoons and then we added olive oil and we mix it a lot and then we added some nuts to it or uh, some sweets and we eat it with a spoon uh, and uh, we usually drink it uh, eat it with uh, milk because uh, 
when you mix it with olive oil it kind of it's kind of it's one of the food that gets you a bit thirsty so it's better to have milk with it uh, so it's uh, it's more delicious and it's a uh, very 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 good anyone have any other question or else i have to drink this by myself i want to show you here in the cup that now the bubbles are away you can see it's only one co color it's amazing Ah, Dafer, you should make one. It's very good, refreshing, and especially in uh, in Cairo. When I, as I imagine, it's Eid here, so I want to say Happy Eid to all my Muslim friends. I'm sure you are in Cairo, and it's hot city, and I would totally recommend you to drink some sisa, as it's gonna be refreshing for you, my friend. I mean, Sus, by the way, if you wanna. Come visit me, welcome, we are not far away, my friend. So I would like also to take opportunity to tell all my Tunisian friends and the one who gonna see this video. Uh, if you are really interested about joining the Slow Food Youth Network community, don't hesitate, us, uh, hesitate to write us a message and... Uh, uh, it will be nice. We will contact you, and we will have maybe a meeting soon. So we're gonna we're gonna meet for sure, and uh, also uh, discuss. And we will tell you more about the Slow Food Youth Network. And this is one of the festivals of the Slow Food uh, Youth Network. And there will be much more other festivals, I hope, in the future. So it will be nice to see life of other Tunisians who are talking about our tradition, our local drinks or local bread. They, they used to be before a festival about the bread. I hope in the next month we will try other festivals. So hope to see you all there. Well... Uh, that's all what I have for now. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. This is the best for me. It's one of the best North African drink. Uh, I wouldn't imagine myself spending the summer without drinking it every day. Uh, it's the best substitute for coffee during the breakfast. It has better uh, benefits than in coffee it have very good nutritional values and it's very very refreshing even like today it's kind of super hot i'm a bit sweating but this thing gets me refreshed a bit so i almost finish it i'm gonna show you the top of the glass So, see there's a bit that is thick, that's hard to get, but you just added a bit more water and then mix it again and then you can drink it and it's totally good, no waste. That's also something good about this string. There is no waste, almost nothing in the glass. Uh, refreshing and um, very good for health, I would say. It's one of the most healthy Tunisian drinks, I imagine. So I think that's it uh, for today. I don't have anything to add. It. If you have any question, feel free to ask me anything, guys. If you want to know anything special about uh, this drink, you can write us a message and uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, to follow all the Slow Food Youth Network videos about uh, different drinks from all over the world. It's today it's the the U Sfin Youth uh, Sfin uh, Drink Festival, so there will be more videos from other countries, uh, from Africa, from Latin America from Europe and also from United States all and from Asia so feel free to uh, to watch them and uh, to learn more about 
other cultural uh, cultural drinks from other countries i hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you so much and have a nice day